ایگل آئی کے ساتھ میں ہوں موزم شہباز ہر وہ شخص جو کامیاب ہے اس کے پیچھے صرف خوش قسمتی کا عمل دخل نہیں ہوتا وہ کسی چانس کی وجہ سے یا کسی حادثاتی طور پر وہ کامیاب نہیں ہوتا کوئی نہ کوئی ایسے فیکٹر ضرور ہوتے ہیں جو اس کی زندگی میں کامیابی کا سبب بنتے ہیں اس کی کامیابی کی کوئی نہ کوئی داستان ضرور ہوتی ہے جب بھی آپ کسی ایسے شخص سے ملاقات کرتے ہیں جو اپنی کامیابی کی منزل طے کر چکا ہوتا ہے تو وہ آپ کو کچھ کچھ ضرور اپنی ایسی آتنیں شیئر کرتا ہے آپ کے ساتھ کوئی اپنے ایسے معاملات شیئر کرتا ہے اپنی روٹین کے بارے میں آپ کو بتاتا ہے جو سننے میں بہت عام سی لگ رہی ہوتی ہیں مگر وہی انگریڈینٹس اس شخص کی کامیابی کی اس کو کامیاب کروانے میں ان کا عمل دخل رہا ہوتا ہے اور ہم اپنی زندگی میں انہی انگریڈینٹس کو اگنور کر رہے ہوتے ہیں مثال کے طور پر آپ اپنی زندگی میں بہت سے ایسے کام کر رہے ہیں جو آپ جن جن کو کرنے میں آپ کا دل نہیں لگتا جو کام آپ آپ دل سے نہیں کر رہے ہوتے ہیں اور صرف ایک روٹین ہوتی ہے چاہے وہ آپ کی جاب ہو آپ کا بزنس ہو آپ کی پرسنل لائف ہو یا کوئی بھی زندگی کا کوئی بھی کام ہو اسی طرح ہم اپنی زندگی کے بہت سے ہاپ جو ہماری ڈریمز ہوتے ہیں ان کو بھی روٹین کی نظر کر دیتے ہیں اور ہم اپنے ڈریمز کو اچیو نہیں کر پاتے ہم اپنے ڈریمز کو اچیو کرنے کے لیے کوئی خاص ایفرٹ نہیں کرتے اور ذرا سی مشکلات سے گھبرا کر ہم اپنے رستے بدل دیتے ہیں اور ہم اپنے ڈریم سے ڈائیورٹ ہو جاتے ہیں ہم اپنے ڈریم کا تعاقب کرنا چھوڑ دیتے ہیں اور یہی وہ فرق ہے جو کامیاب لوگوں میں اور ناکام لوگوں میں ہوتا ہے کامیاب لوگ اپنے کام کو اپنا پیشن سمجھ کر کرتے ہیں اور کچھ لوگ اپنے پیشن کو ہی اپنا کام بنا لیتے ہیں تو آج کے پروگرام میں ہم انہی انگریڈینٹس کے بارے میں بات کریں گے تو آج کا ہمارا ٹاپک ہے پیشن پرائڈ اینڈ پرزرونس دا روڈ ٹو سکسیس اردو میں اس کو ہم کہیں گے جذبہ وقار اور ہمت کامیابی کے تین جوہر فار اے ڈسکشن آن دس ٹاپک لیٹ می انٹروڈیوس یو ٹو آر گیسٹ فرسٹ آئی انٹروڈیوس یو ٹو بینجی ولیمس بینجی از اے اسٹینڈ فارڈ گریجویٹ اینڈ نو از اے کو فاؤنڈر اینڈ سی او ایٹ امل اکیڈمی ول آسک مور اباؤٹ امل اکیڈمی فرام ہیم ڈائریکٹلی آر نیکسٹ گیسٹ از سائما ولیب شی از اے ایچ آر پروفیشنل اینڈ ورکنگ ود اے لارج آرگنائزیشن دا بزنس آف مین بزنس آف وچ از فرٹیلائز اینڈ دین وی ہیو این ادر ویری اسپیشل گیسٹ ایچ آر انڈسٹری میں آپ کا ایک بہت بڑا نام ہے مس زینب خان ویلکم ٹو آ شو آپ ایک بہت بڑے فٹ ویئر آرگنائزیشن کے ساتھ کام کر رہی ہیں ایک بہت بڑے ریٹیلر کے ساتھ کام کر رہے ہیں ہم آپ سے بھی اس ٹاپک پہ بات کریں میں آپ تینوں کو پروگرام میں خوش آمدید بہن جی مائی فرسٹ کوشچن از فرام یو ٹوڈے ایز یو ہیو ہرڈ اباؤٹ دا ٹاپک ہاؤ ڈو یو فیل اباؤٹ دیز تھری گولڈن ورڈس آر دیز جسٹ ورڈس آر دیز سکسیز آر دا ریئل پاور پیکس Uh, sure. So the three golden words, patient, pa- passion, pride, and, and perseverance. Um, there's the f- five Ps of marketing. Maybe we can call these the three Ps of Mozum, if it's okay. We'll brand it. Um, I think these things are really critical. Uh, passion is critical. Pride is critical. But the most important thing for me um, is perseverance. And as you mentioned, um, I'm one of the co-founders of Amal Academy. Amal Academy is, is focused on working with the youth here in Pakistan in order to develop their skills so that they can get good quality employment at, at places like, you know, where Saima and, and Zainab and, and yourself are working. And so we have a, a three-month program where we really try and develop their business skills, their communication skills, their teamwork and leadership and interviewing and resume and all, all the things that are really important. But the point is, related to today's topic, that it's a lot of hard work. And the idea behind Amal Academy, as you said in your intro, is Amal, this idea of action. And we took the name from Alama Iqbal, who said in his uh, lecture series, The Reconstruction of Religious Thoughts in Islam, he said, the world is not something to be discussed in concepts, but something to be made and remade through continuous action. And so it's not just action, but it's this emphasis on continuous action. It, it's not enough to just do something once, you have to continue and continue and continue to do those things. And so our fellowship, our career prep fellowship is three months. It's a lot of hard work. It requires a lot of a student. Um, And it requires a lot of our team. And so we've been here for now four years. We've had a, about 1,000 students starting next month. Um, we've been in seven different universities and had 32 fellowships. And the point is that all of this is a lot of hard work. 
And if you work really hard at something, then inshallah, you get good at that thing. And when you get good at something, that's when I feel you become passionate about that thing. And I feel that's when you become prideful about that thing, prideful in a good way, like pride with humility. And so in our first day in the fellowship, the, the last thing I'll share is we have um, this Amul principle, which is calm, calm, or calm. And it's really taken from uh, you know, the great leader, Qadi Azam, who said, work, work, and only work uh, with patience and humility and serve thy country, serve thy nation. And so our principle at Amul the very first day is, it's gonna take a lot of hard work. And the second day is Sabre Jamil, beautiful patience, that it will take a lot of hard work and it will take time, perseverance. But if you commit to those two things, and if you're willing to put in the hard work, and if you're willing to allow that to take its course and to take time, then inshallah you'll be able to achieve your dreams. Uh, Saima, Benji ne baat ki, uh, kaam, 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 hard work, or sabre jameel ki. What's your take on the topic? Aap I think that uh, you as a brand, uh, you, uh, I would define it you as a structure. Har structure ke kuch pillars hote hain, kuch important aapne kaha ingredients hote hain. Benji talked about five P's of marketing and three P's of this part of you. I think they are very important pillars to make or break yourself, your career, your life. Chahe aap kuch bhi kar rahe ho, be it be personal life or professional life, ye teeno cheeze bahut important hai. So the three Ps, and they put you to the road to success and take you to the destiny, whatever you have perceived as your destiny in different streams of life. And uh, taking on from what Benji said, I think that they are very interdependent. Koi bhi cheez ek khali, agar aap usme scenario mein check karenge, to wo shahid aapko kamiyabhi ki taraf nahi leke jayegi. So these three things are very much interdependent. Passion, that's the basic. If you want to do something, you just want it, not enough. There has to be a burning passion, desire behind it to get what you want to get. So passion is going to be the, uh, the basic ingredient towards that. And then comes pride. Whatever you do, you take pride in that because you are passionate about it. You know where you want to go. And whatever you are doing on course of being there where you want to go, just take pride on small little things you do. And I'm not saying that you are aloof in the rest of the world. All I am saying is that be very confident and take, be very, uh, uh, well, pride with humility is important as well. Aap uske baare mein achcha feel kare. Aur achcha feel karayin bhi. Because you are interdependent on many other people around you as well. Akele isolation mein, as I just said, cheeze nahi ho sakengi. And the last thing, perseverance. As Venji was also saying and you also said in your intro, sabre jameer. Uh, very important. वो चीज़ जिसके बारे में आप passionate हों, जिसके बारे में आप pride लें, हो नहीं सकता कि रुकावटें ना आएं। जब रुकावटें आएंगी, and when you are passionate, you are taking pride in what you are doing. Perseverance is going to be very important to actually uh, help you in getting the right dream जो आपने सोचा हुआ है। So इन तीन चीजों को अगर मैं uh, the road to success ke jo ingredients agar, if I want to conclude them in one line I would like to take the quotation of Rumi here you were born with wings why to prefer to crawl in life agar hum is jumle ko dekhe jo Rumi ne kaha ye teeno cheeze hume uski jhalak nazar aati hai ke how you can continue and continue to be on that path the success which you have chosen the success for you. Zainab, you come to your side, Saima has also explained very beautifully. What do you think? Are these just fancy terms? Or is there a real life in life? And is there a real life in life? To answer your question directly, these three ingredients, I think I will agree with Saima and Benji and your topics, these three ingredients are the ones that can get success. 
وہ سکسیس ہر شخص اپنے لیے خود ڈیفائن کرتا ہے ہر شخص اپنے حساب سے اس کو ڈیفائن کرتا ہے کہ سکسیس کیا ہوگا کس چیز کو سکسیس کہا جائے گا وہ ایک شخص سے دوسرے شخص فرق ہوتا ہے مگر بغیر پیشن کے یا پرائیڈ کے یا پرسیورنس کے سکسیس مل نہیں سکتی جو بھی ڈیفینیشن ہو سب سے پہلی بات تو یہ ہے جو دوسری بات میں کہنا چاہوں گی وہ یہ ہے کہ ان تینوں کے علاوہ ایک چوتھا پی بھی ہے جس کو کنسیڈر کیا جا سکتا ہے ان تین چیزوں کو سمجھنے کے لیے اور مجھے لگتا ہے کہ اس کی ایک خاص جگہ ہے اور وہ ہے پرپز کہ آپ جو سکسیس آپ نے اپنے لیے ڈیفائن کیا وہ کس پرپز پہ بیسڈ ہے آپ کا کیا پرپز ہے آپ نے بڑی خوبصورت بات کی اگر پرپز نہیں ہے تو ان چیزوں کا بھی کوئی ویڈاوٹ ڈریکشن آپ کچھ بھی نہیں ہے ڈیفائن کرنے میں ہیلپ کرتا ہے پرپز کہ سکسیس کی ڈیفنیشن کیا ہوگی اور کیونکہ ہر شخص کا پرپس ڈیفرنٹ ہو سکتا ہے اس لیے ہر شخص کی ڈیفنیشن بھی فرق ہو سکتی ہے پر میرے حساب سے اگر آپ کو اپنا پرپس مل جائے اور اس پہ کافی ٹائم لگانا چاہیے غور سے اس کے بارے میں ضرور سوچنا چاہیے کہ پرپس ہے کیا اگر پرپس ڈیفائن ہو جائے تو پھر پیشن اس کے لیے جینریٹ ہو جاتا ہے جو پیشن میرے حساب سے جو پیشن کی برث پلیس ہے وہ پرپس ہے اگر آپ ڈریون ہیں کسی چیز کی طرف اور جیسے میں عمل کا اگزامپل دوں گی میرے حساب سے بینجی آز ا پرپس ان ہز لائف اینڈ ہی سروس دیٹ پرپس تھرو کریٹنگ اینڈ 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 میکنگ عمل سکسیزفل اٹ سروس دا پرپس دیٹ ہی ہیز چوزن فار ہم سیلف ان ہز لائف اینڈ بیکاز اٹ از دا کور آف ہز سیلف Um, and the way he defines his own success, he has the passion for it. Um, and once you align your actions with your purpose, um, you become proud of them. And, and, and so pride also is, is born there. But the, but the conception of both of these things, passion and then being pride of, proud of it, um, uh, of your actions uh, basically come from your definition of purpose. So I would say spend a lot of time defining your purpose. Once you know Uh, your life's purpose, what you were born to do, mm, then uh, uh, the passion will come. And once you have that, uh, I will agree with Saima, that passion is very difficult to do with passion, because obstacles are in every thing. Anything that's worth achieving is going to have obstacles. And if you're going to surmount those obstacles, then it's important to, to have that himmat. And that himmat only comes in that way, if you have your purpose from inside, اور آپ کی جو عمل ہیں وہ بالکل الائنڈ ہو اگر اس میں ذرا سا بھی فرق ہو تو ہمت ہارنا تو بہت آسان ہو جاتا ہے سائما پیشن کی بات ہوئی اور ساتھ ہی زینب نے بڑی خوبصورت بات کی کہ پیشن پرپس کے بغیر اس کا کوئی لنک نہیں ہے کیا پرپس ہی آپ کا کلیئر نہیں ہے تو آپ پیشن کہاں سے آئے گا پرپس کو کیسے کلیریفائی کیا جائے پرپس کیسے ایک گول آپ اس کو کہہ لیں اس کو کیسے سیٹ کیا جائے I think سب سے پہلے تو یہ جاننا ہے کہ ہم خود ایک ایک جیسے زینب نے کہا کہ ایوری بڈی از ڈفرنٹ تو اس ڈفرنس کو بھی جاننا پرپز کو ڈیفائن کرنے میں بہت ہیلپ کرتا ہے سو اپنے آپ کو جانا جیسے اقبال نے کہا اور بہت ساری ہم ارد گرد مسالے دیکھتے ہیں کہ اپنے آپ کو جاننا جو ہے وہ سب سے مشکل ترین کام ہے اینڈ دا بگیسٹ جرنی اینی ون کین ایور بی آن از دا جرنی ٹو سیلف ڈسکوری تو اگر آپ کو یہ سمجھ لگ جائے کہ آپ بیسکلی زندگی میں چاہتے کیا ہیں وہ کون سی ایسی چیزیں ہیں جو آپ کو موٹیویٹ کرتی ہیں پہلے تو یہ نا کہ آپ ایک انسان ہیں آپ کے اردگرد سرکمسٹینسز ہیں آپ کی ایک فیملی لائف ہے ایک بیک گراؤنڈ ہے لیکن آپ نے جانا ہے ان سب چیزوں کو مد نظر رکھتے ہوئے بٹ وہ اندر سے کیا ایسی چیز ہے جس کو آپ چاہتے ہیں اور اس کے بغیر آپ کی زندگی بالکل بے معنی وٹ از دیٹ تھنگ which you want اور ان چیزوں کے بارے میں سوچتے ہوئے سرکمسٹانسز کو ذہن میں باقی سب چیزوں کو ذہن میں رکھتے ہوئے then you define your purpose and then you define backwards کہ اس purpose کو achieve کرنے کے لیے آپ کو کیا کیا ایسی چیزیں ہیں milestones ایسے زندگی میں کیا ہیں جو achieve کرنے ہیں تو اپنے آپ کو جاننا اپنے differences کو سمجھنا اپنی وہ چیزیں جن کے بارے میں آپ آپ کی زندگی میں وہ بہت حیثیت رکھتی ہیں دے آر ویری بگ ویلیو فار یو جس کے بغیر یو تھنک دیٹ لائف از میننگ لیس ان کو سمجھنا سول سرفنگ کرنا 
और फिर पर्पस को डिफाइन करते हुए बैकवर्ड वर्किंग करना कि वो क्या चीजें होंगी जो आपको वहां तक ले जाएंगी व्हाट इज द बेस्ट टाइम इन लाइफ टू सेट द पर्पस बिकॉज़ आई नो मेनी फ्रेंड्स एंड मेनी कोलीग्स हु स्टडीड समथिंग डिफरेंट एंड दिस व्हेन दे वर स्टडीइंग दे वर स्टडीइंग विद पैशन दे एंड दे अचीव्ड गुड ग्रेड्स लाइक 4 जीपीए एंड स्टिल आफ्टर हैविंग कंप्लीटेड द द डिग्री व्हिच दे चूज टू स्टडी बाय देमसेल्व्स एट द एंड ऑफ द कोर्स दे uh realized that their personality is mismatched uh with what they've studied and then they uh, change their profession mm. so what do you think what is the best time to know yourself and to set the purpose mm. um i think that probably there is no best time and probably you'll always be discovering your purpose as in your purpose evolves over time for me now my purpose could really be about working with the youth in Pakistan in order to develop those skills and help them get a meaningful life and a good career and for someone else or maybe in 10 years it might evolve to you know helping to transform the education system itself or in 20 years it might be you know looking after my parents who are you know needing that kind of support so the point is i think to find a place where you're always exploring what your purpose is and it seems kind of daunting it seems like how can i find my purpose like there's only one purpose and i have to find it and so i think by having this idea that you'll always be exploring and understanding what your purpose is it somehow relieves some of the stress that there's only one single purpose for your life and the second thing that i want to say is um probably you can start in quite a small way to try and find what your purpose is. Uh Abdul Satariri is one of the key role models that we have in our fellowship program and I had a chance to meet him about a year ago and he was not very healthy at the time um and I was reluctant to even, you know, ask him any questions because I wanted to respect uh, his health and his space but he said ask ask me anything just ask me And so I asked him, you know, this question, how do you find purpose and how do you contribute to society? And he said, uh just start. It doesn't matter like how you start, it doesn't matter like in what way you start, but just start. And he emphasized this thing of the small beginning. He said for him, his mother gave him two pesos. Many people know this story. And he would use one peso on himself and he would give one to whoever was you know in the market or the bazaar or who needed some support and so that was his way of very in a very small way at a very young age finding out what his purpose was what was the small difference that he could make and then from there he you know started doing a little bit more and he, he even had this history of like hawking in the streets and selling milk and selling textiles and very slowly he built up the ED foundation over this period of like 10 or 15 years um it wasn't for like 10 years until he had enough to buy his first ambulance and at that point he started you know finding people that needed to get buried or taken in the ambulance mm. but that took a decade mm. and he found that through very small actions that then accumulated into something and he said okay this is my purpose so that's that's sort of our encouragement in in the fellowship is find a very small thing that you can do just something you're curious about you're interested in yeah. and follow that and see where it takes you maybe maybe that curiosity might lead to your purpose or your passion and maybe it won't and you learn something and and you go and do something else small then it reminds me uh, of the book a tipping point the small thing matters lekin aap kya samajhti hai ki hum this main thoda sa baat karta hu student age ke upar main samajhta hu ki wo ek age aisi hai aapki ki jahan agar aap apna purpose set kar le ya usko clear kar le to uske baad aapki baaki zindagi aasan ho jati hai aap jo aap course selection bhi kar rahe hote hain apna career selection bhi kar rahe hote hain wo bhi ek durust simp mein ho jati hai to wahan hum aise kya aap kya tips dena chahenge aapke sath mein aise kya strategy aati hai ki wo aisi kaun si choti choti cheeze hain jo wahan karke इंडिविजुअल्स अपने आप को अपनी पर्सनैलिटी को और अपने पर्पज को एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं आई बिन स्टूडेंट हेयर इन इन लाहौर ऑल माई स्कूलिंग वॉज हेयर माई कॉलेज वॉज हेयर माई यूनिवर्सिटी वॉज हेयर आई हैव टू से 
sometimes uh, given the circumstances you're growing up in and, and, and what the situation is and what your college is or, or school is, and depending on that, you don't have too many options. But um, given that I've also experienced the same sort of educational background as, as most of your viewers would have or most of the people in Lahore would have or in Pakistan would have, I can say you should create opportunities to, um, to experience different things. I find that uh, one of the things that we tend to do is uh, over-focus on the books. Yeah? And so when we do that, we don't really look for opportunities to do actual physical experiences in, in other areas. Um, uh, at school, um, you should try and you know, get a job like a small two hour, I'm sure there's something you can contribute to if you, if you do it voluntarily. And the reason I say this is because that is a piece of real life. Lekin Zainab, we are with you. I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you, but I'm going to tell you one thing. Here, with me, I have also experienced it. I know many people know that when you talk to your parents, that I want to do a year volunteer activity during studies, or I want to do a job with them, they say, no, no, you give your studies, you don't have any need. But in the developed countries, the child starts working with 17 years old. What's your take on this? And what's your message for the parents? Look, you have to talk to your parents. You have to start small. The culture exists not exist, as you said. But you have to start that conversation. And of course, parents have to also change and start listening to conversations that children are having. And I think parents do now. शायद पहले इतना ज़्यादा नहीं था, but अब ये it's slowly changing. Parents do listen to new ideas. A lot of children are trying to push the boundary and and sort of get those permissions to to try and sort of do other things. But I would just sort of say, expand your experiences. That's very important. If you if you get if you start to have experiences early on, then you will start to get feedback from those experiences, and and you'll know. I didn't enjoy this, or I really enjoyed this. I would do this uh, if if I if I didn't get paid anything. I, I would choose to do this, right? And and so you start to discover yourself, and it's hard to discover yourself. And I'd agree with Benji and say, there's never any any good age where you can say, okay, you know, this is my deadline. You you keep discovering yourself, and you also keep changing. So you rediscover yourself every little while, and um, which is all right. Right? And, and to not find out immediately that what your passion is, that's also fine. No matter what. The journey itself is, is, uh, is, is teaching you uh, what your passion is going to be. And then sometimes you find passions unexpectedly. When you experience something, you suddenly realize that this was so fulfilling that I have to do this. And, and a lot of times you, you don't think about those things actively. Uh, or, or they haven't sort of come into a, your consideration set and, and, and you don't think you don't even think about it. Uh, but when you give yourself the opportunity to have a lot of different experiences, um, then you might find it sooner. Mm, you know, if you, if you experience 100 things, you might like something out of it. But if you experience only 10, then the likelihood becomes uh, very small. So I would say, do a lot of experiences. Do a lot of people talk to a lot of people. When people give feedback, they listen to them very much. When we are little, we all know everything. So then we don't absorb a lot of people who tell us. So do a lot of people's tendency to overcome. Do a lot of people. You don't have to use everything that somebody tells you. But give it a listen. And then, you know. Um, you'll, you'll discover more of yourself. And, and so I wouldn't say there's any good age, but you certainly should, you certainly should pursue what you think you like. And you, you need to have good, honest conversations with your parents about that. And, and to know more, you have to experience more. Or up to, um, I think it's much easier because the internet is out there. You can experience everything on the internet, good or bad. And, and so it's very easy to explore subjects and, and curriculums and, and ideas and areas, um, even without ever having to leave your house, really. Um, and then, so you can do small things, like Benji said. I mean, you can start small, but you have to keep trying. And that's the important thing, perseverance. You, you have to keep trying. Perseverance. That's, that's important. Nazir, let's take a short break. After the break, we will come back and start the break. We will start the break. After the break, we will start the break. Welcome back, Nazreen. 
بریک سے پہلے بات ہو رہی تھی زینب سے وہیں سے ہم گفتگو کا سلسلہ شروع کرتے ہیں سائمہ بینگ ایچ آر پروفیشنل آپ کیا سمجھتی ہیں کہ جتنی ابھی تک کی گفتگو ہوئی ہے ایک تو یہ بتائیں کہ آپ نے اس کو جو ہمارے پاس ورکنگ پروفیشنلز ہیں ان کا آپ نے کہاں دیکھا کہ وہ اپنے پیشن اور پرپس کے بارے میں کتنا کلیر ہیں اور ان میں آپ نے کتنے پیشن ایٹ ہے اس پرپس کے بارے میں اور پھر آپ ان کو کس طرح سے ہیلپ آؤٹ کرتے ہیں آپ کا ایچ آر ڈپارٹمنٹ جو ہے ان کو کس طرح سے ہیلپ آؤٹ کرتا ہے ٹو فائنڈ دا پیشن اوکے آئی ول جسٹ بلڈ آن اے لٹل بیٹ آف وٹ بوتھ آف مائی کالیگز ہیو جسٹ سیٹ کہ کیا ٹائم ہے ایسا پیشن یا پرپس کے بارے میں کب انسان کو پتا چلنا چاہیے یس دیر از نو رائٹ ٹائم فار اٹ بٹ دا سونر دا بیٹر وین آئی سی دا سونر دا بیٹر سو دیر از اے بگر پرپز آف لائف اینڈ یو کیپ آن ڈسکورنگ اباؤٹ یور سیلف ڈیٹ ہاؤ ووڈ یو وانٹ ٹو گو ان اچیونگ دیٹ پرپز دا پرپز ڈزنٹ چینج ان اٹ سیلف شفٹ ہو سکتی ہیں بٹ آل ٹوگیدر چینج نہیں ہو سکتا تو ڈفرینٹ انسٹیٹیوٹس جو ہمارے سوشل لائف میں ہمیں ہیلپ کر سکتے ہیں ایز دا فرینچ ون آف دا اسکالرس ہیو سیٹ دیٹ دا بگیسٹ انسٹیٹیوٹ وچ کوڈ ہیلپ ٹو بلڈ اے پرسن از دا انسٹیٹیوٹ آف مدر دا سیکنڈ انسٹیٹیوٹ از یور اسکول اینڈ دین اوبیسلی یور کالج اینڈ یونیورسٹی لائف And the third institute which could really help you to be there where you want to be is the area or the place or the company you work for. Uh, so starting from the first institute, we learn a lot of things from home. Abu kya karte hai, ammi kya karte hai, different cousins jo hai, wo kya kaam karte hai, kisne kya pada. So one of the key messages here is that uh, whatever people are doing, whatever people are doing, uh, You don't have to follow the bandwagon effect. You just need to find out ke aap ko kya acha lagta hai. Aap kya chahte hain. Irrespective of ke ammi doctor banana chahti hai, abu wakil banana chahte hain. Usko chhodte hue pehle aapne khud apne aap ki soul surfing karni bahut zaruri hai. Aur jab aap apne bare mein khud jaan lete hain, to phir log chahe jo marzi kahe, usse itna farak nahi padta kyunki aap apni negotiation aur apni discussion se parents aur dusre logon ko samjha sakte hain. لیکن وہ آپ تب تک نہیں سمجھا پائیں گے جب تک آپ کو خود پتہ نہیں ہوگا دا سیلف ڈسکوری والا پارٹ بٹ یس ایز ہیومن وی آر جسٹ لائک آنین ڈفرینٹ لیئرز جو ہیں وہ پیل آؤٹ کرتے جائیں کرتے جائیں کرتے جائیں آپ کو ڈفرینٹ چیزیں اپنے بارے میں پتہ لگتی تھی لیکن بگر پکچر جو ہے وہ چینج نہیں ہوتی سو گھر کا انسٹیٹیوٹ اسکول کا انسٹیٹیوٹ وہیں سے ہی ایکسپلوریشن جو ہے وہ اسٹارٹ ہو جانی چاہیے اور تمام ٹیچرس تمام اسٹوڈنٹس کی تمام پیرنٹس کی یہ ٹریننگ ہونی چاہیے سو ڈیٹ دے کین ہیلپ دیئر کڈس اینڈ اسٹوڈنٹس ٹو فائنڈ مور اباؤٹ دیم ٹو فائنڈ دیئر پیشن تاکہ وہ رائٹ جگہ رائٹ پاتھ کو چوز کریں ہم بہت دفعہ اپنی آرگنائزیشنز میں بات کرتے ہیں آپ جاب کی ایڈس دیکھیں تو لکھا ہوتا ہے رائٹ پرسن فار دا رائٹ جاب واٹ از دیٹ کمپنیز میں جا کے رائٹ پرسن فار دا رائٹ جاب بہت مشکل ہو جاتا ہے یہ شروع سے ہی کرنے کی ضرورت ہے ایک وہ بندہ جو انٹروورڈ ہے جس کو شاید لوگوں سے بات کرنے میں بہت دشواری آتی ہے اور اس کی انرجی ویسٹ ہوتی ہے آپ اس کو مارکیٹنگ میں یا پی آر میں ڈال دیں گے دیٹ از ناٹ اے گڈ میچ شاید اس نے اپنے آپ کو چینج کر کے اس پوزیشن کے لیے یا اس جاب کے لیے ٹھیک کر لیا ہوگا بٹ اندر سے وہ وہ نہیں ہے تو پھر وہ جلدی تھک جائے گا اسی لیے جب آئی آلسو ٹاک ٹو مائی اسٹوڈنٹس آئی آلویز سی ڈیٹ فائنڈ آؤٹ وٹ گیوز یو اسٹرینتھ وٹ گیوز یو لاڈ آف انرجی بیکاز وہ چیز جو آپ کو نہیں پسند ہے اور آپ نے اس کے کہنے پہ اور اس کے کہنے پہ وہ کر لی ہے دیر از اے گریٹر چانس دیٹ یو ول گیٹ ٹائرڈ ویری ایزیلی اور ان آرگنائزیشن ایچ آر ڈپارٹمنٹس اس چیز پہ آئی تھنک بہت زیادہ کام کر رہے ہیں ڈفرینٹ پرسنالٹی اسسمنٹ ٹیسٹ جو ہیں وہ انٹروڈیوس کیے جا رہے ہیں تاکہ لوگوں کی پریفرنس اور لوگوں کی پرسنالٹی ٹائپ کو دیکھتے ہوئے رائٹ میچنگ کی جا سکتی بہن جی پرٹیکولر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا ورکنگ پروفیشنل کین ریئلی فائنڈ دا پیشن وائل کنسڈرنگ ڈیلی روٹین ایٹ ہینڈ آئی تھنک دے کین آئی تھنک وی کین ورکنگ پروفیشنل مینس یور ایٹ اے جاب مے بی دیر از اے ڈسٹنگشن ٹو میک وچ از یو ہیو اے جاب You have a career, and then uh, those two things are different. So maybe you have a job, but it's not exactly your career. You don't have to necessarily make your job your career. And then um, on the other hand, the third thing you have is a hobby. 
So you can have a job, you can have a hobby. Maybe you find ways to align those two things so that you have a job which is also kind of related to your hobby, then it becomes more of your career. And so I think that people often get overwhelmed. Your first job, oh my gosh, this is the launch of my career. Mm. I have to get it exactly mm. right, otherwise my whole life will be wasted. But that's not true. Mm. Your first job is nothing more than just your first job. Mm. As Zainab said, try something out. If it doesn't work, then maybe you can shift to something else. Exactly. I know there's a lot of family pressure. I know there's a lot of society pressure. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves. And probably we put the most pressure on ourselves. And mm. so I think one good advice that I've received is don't like worry so much about your first job being your career for life. Try it out. See if it works. If it doesn't work, then try something else. Shift to something else. I mean, Zainab, uh, I wanted to ask uh, Benji another very interesting question because you have studied from uh, the two top uh, schools of the world. How do you see, uh, how is our education system different uh, from where you have studied mm. in terms of the topic we're discussing? Sure, uh, the three Ps. I, I think we can add uh, it, four Ps because we've added purpose now. Yeah, yeah. we just did. So, um, you know, in many ways, the education system in the U.S. is, is different, and in many ways, it's, it's very similar. Uh, when I, it's funny, when I told my mother about Amal Academy and that I was moving to Lahore to work on this thing, she was fine with me moving to Pakistan, but she said, why don't you stay in Sacramento, California? Because we have the same problem here. People are spending a lot of time in the education system, and yet they're not fully developing the skills that they need in order to succeed in the workplace. And I think the reason that might be is because the workplace is always evolving. Mm. The needs of the workplace are always evolving. 20 years ago, maybe you just needed someone who could, you know, assembly line something, put a, a burger patty together, and then move on to the next person. And now you need probably someone who can think creatively, how to create a better burger, how to design a better menu, who has a different set of skills. And so the education system hasn't necessarily caught up with that. And yet, there's reasons to be hopeful. Um, I think even within Pakistan, there are examples where the education system is beginning to get more experiential, like mm. Zainab was saying, where you actually go out and you do things. It's project-based. This is what we try and do in the Amma Fellowship, where you're not just learning about something, as Zalama Iqbal said, you're not just discussing concepts, but you're going out and doing continuous action. And that's the way to apply the book knowledge, that's the way to apply the concepts, and to actually develop in yourself something that can then be applied in the workplace, can be applied in your job, maybe can be applied in your career. But it really depends on the initiative that you take. And the, and the last thing I want to say is that you, the power of you, the power of one, I think has become even more. Which Zainab said, you know, there's so many resources available. Everything is at your fingertips. You just have to take that initiative. You just have to have that self-efficacy or that ownership that says, I can learn how to code. I can learn how to program. I can learn how to speak better English. I can learn how to present myself professionally. All that information is there. It's on YouTube. It's on these online courses. The content from Berkeley and Stanford is almost all available online. But you have to take that initiative and go out there and get it. And so, yes, the education system needs to be tweaked. It needs to be improved. This is what we're very passionate about at, uh, at Amal Academy. But at the same time, the power of one is very powerful, and each person has the ability, regardless of their context and their circumstances, to improve themselves, to grow themselves, and to hopefully achieve their goals. I think Khudi ka jo concept hai, wo bhi purpose se baut closely connected hai, ya aap ye keh sakte hai, purpose jo hai, wo Khudi se connected hai, but I would agree with you, I think, I want to sort of talk a little bit from, about Khudi, but from what Benji said, you have to take responsibility and ownership of yourself, 
and for the for the younger people or for even even for for us when we were younger and and even now um i think the importance is is also to be placed on the fact that we uh we must take responsibility for finding our passion and and making that effort you know instead of uh, instead of it being handed on a plate to us that our parents should tell us ki hum kya kar le aur phir kaun se college bhi chale jaye aur phir kaun si naukri bhi kar le you know that sort of thing i find that um, introspection really helps so if you look inside yourself but then that's also effort it's much easier to just sort of hang out and and have fun um wo effort karna bhi uh, jo hai wo um hamara kaam hai so if we talk in the context of students having to choose their subjects or 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 their professions for the future then there is that emphasis of 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 um taking ownership so that you can find your passion and therefore be proud and 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 then and then because you found your passion and and your purpose and it's all in this fantastic alignment that you are able to persevere uh, through the obstacles so uh, there is that element of of uh, i feel that uh, sometimes we're also lazy and and we sort of say acha koi bata de wo kar lete hain and so that then you can also turn around and say i hate it and it's all your fault because you know aapne mujhe kaha tha maine pad liya you know it's very easy yeah. so i think wo bhi hai aur har ek ko khud hi ka jo concept hai wo foreign se khud se samajh nahi aata so i think wo bhi exploration se aata hai ki aap um and it's a big concept it's it's not for just you know very easy to understand it's also about you know you have to experience life also mm-hmm. to learn it so as you grow i think it becomes easier to understand it and also to 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 be able to fulfill uh, the need but not everybody feels the need to be actualized also so th- which is all right which is fine uh, as long Saiba, as you are iske sath ek aur issue bhi hai uh, abhi tak humne sari baatein positive ki hai uh प्राइड और फॉल्स प्राइड के बीच में एक थिन लाइन है आप बहुत से यूथ को देखती हैं कभी उस गली में खड़े हो गए कभी किसी को तंग किया एक और उस पर भी वो दे फील प्राइड कि हम बहुत ठीक काम कर रहे हैं एंड दे आर ओके विद इट हम किस तरह से फॉल्स प्राइड के ट्रैप से बच सकें मैं तो फिर उसी तरफ ही आऊंगी कि ये स्टार्ट आपकी अपब्रिंगिंग से ही है सो so, पर्सनैलिटी के दो पार्ट हैं वन हिज विच इज नेचर एंड द अदर वन विच इज नर्चर नेचर का पार्ट जो है वो छोटा है और नर्चर का पार्ट जो है वो बड़ा है और जो हमने खुद ही की बात की और हमने सेल्फ डिस्कवरी की बात की और हमने ये कहा कि ये ऑन गोइंग प्रोसेस है दिस इज नो वन पर्टिकुलर टाइम जब हम इस प्रोसेस को स्टार्ट करते हैं या एंड करते हैं तो इस सारी चीज़ों में नर्चरिंग का पार्ट जो है वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का पार्ट जो है वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सो एज डिफ्रेंस हम कैसे कर सकते हैं एक तो ये कि सही और गलत का फ़र्क हम जब बच्चे हैं हमें खुद नहीं पता सही और गलत का फ़र्क क्या है तो नर्चरिंग ऐसी प्रोवाइड करना अगेन फ्रॉम द इंस्टीट्यूट जिसकी मैंने बात की फ्रॉम होम एंड फ्रॉम स्कूल एंड देन अदर इंस्टीट्यूट नर्चरिंग ऐसी प्रोवाइड करना दैट आई एम एबल टू फील रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू चूज वट इज़ राइट एंड वट इज़ रॉन्ग तो अगर ये बेसिक वैल्यू सिस्टम शुरू से डेवलप नहीं होगा तो मे बी आई फाई एम सी यू टमोरो Uh, of some company, I may be, I may not be able to differentiate between a good pride, uh, full thing, or maybe a, a false pride. So, ये तो मेरा ख़ाला आप value system की बात कर रहे हैं और value system का nurturing में बहुत important role है और value system को drive करने में the institutes play again a very important role. So, if I talk about myself, so yes, as a person, I am responsible to find out what is right and what is wrong. And if I talk about my family. I am also responsible to provide a nurturing environment in a way that my other family dependent members are able to find them by themselves rather than through imposition. Because अगर वो खुद ये find out करेंगे तो उनको इसके साथ या इसकी इसकी जो इसका जो फायदा है वो ज़्यादा नज़र आएगा. And then again, as a professional or as a teacher or who whatever I am doing in life, in that role also the responsibility. to ensure that the right value system is being built up tabhi false bad ya good or uh, uh, right mein jo hai aap fark jo hai wo mehsoos kar sakte hain uh, so it's self responsibility and the responsibility in contribution of other people's life as well they can be your students their your kids 
or your other people, even your, uh, even your help at home, you are responsible even to transfer those value system to them as well. So responsibility is very important. So the concept of the responsibility se start hota hai, or I will also talk about khudi in a way that we should also understand and accept the power which has been given to us by God. There is abundance in this universe. Uh, Allah Ta'ala ne abundance jo hai wo provide ki hui hai. Ye hamari zimedari hai. Aur ye Allah Ta'ala ne hume ikhtiyar diya hai. That is why we are Ashraful Makhluka. Because we have the ability to choose. And the abundance is there. But that passion is going to drive us, to help us, to choose what we really want to choose. And then the value system on the parallel side is going to help us what to choose what is right. So, yes, this is what it is. Benji, it's all about uh, being persistent. And uh, it really can be hard and tough and hard times to be persistent. How one can stay focused to be persistent? Hmm. Um, it's a really tough question. Uh, I'm frankly not sure what the advice is for everyone. Um, but I know about my, my own experience. There's this author Tolstoy, and he said that in order to do a journey of a thousand kilometers, you have to have the vision or hope of a promised land mm -hmm. at the end of that journey. Mm -hmm. And I think the idea is around having a goal or having something that you're working towards. And probably this is a bit <coughs> cliche, but I really do think you have to start with the end in mind and use that as motivation to keep going day after day after day after day, because it really will take a long, long time. Um, there's this uh, example of Muhammad Ali, the boxer, and we use him uh, in our fellowship. And he's such a wonderful example because his career in boxing was so difficult. And he started at 12 years old. And again, he's an example of a lot of the things we've talked about. He was a very sort of from a low income background and didn't have these natural talents. But he worked really, really hard at becoming a great boxer. It's not that he was gifted. It's not that he was like destined to be a boxer or he was born into a boxing family or any of these things. But he stumbled across boxing. He followed that curiosity like we were talking about. It became his passion. He became really good at it. And eventually he became really proud of who he was as a boxer. But um, he says one really interesting thing, which is about his training routine. And he said that training for him was, you can imagine he's running hundreds of miles each week and hours you know, just literally slogging it out in the gym. And he said training begins at the point which exhaustion starts. And he remained persistent. And he had to remain persistent. And so for him, training didn't start until he was exhausted. Once he was exhausted, that's when the training began. And so for him, he had his mindset on the titles, on becoming the, the greatest, literally, boxer there ever was. And he had that promised land at the end. but. It really took a lot of hard work. And so I think keeping that in mind, but then just knowing before you get into it, it's going to take a lot of hard work. We are running short of time. Uh, I'll take uh, feedback all of you on the topic. Zainab, har koi Muhammad Ali nahi ban saka, nahi bante. Ye iski kya wajah hai ki hum har shaks us stage pe nahi pahunch pata? Um, uh I'll, I'll also say what Benji said. Uh, I don't know if I can answer that question for everyone, but I can tell you uh, for myself. Um, sometimes uh, we have a purpose in mind, we, we have the passion, uh, we persevere, um, and yet it doesn't happen. Um, and in that case, what I've learned uh, for myself is that we must also know how to let go. And um, I think faith helps in that, whatever your faith might be, uh, in, whether you believe in the karmic sort of universe or, or um, I think uh, if it's not meant for you and you don't get it, that's all right too. Maybe you have a different purpose that God has decided and then it's important to look for that. 
and and uh, or or let God tell you um, what it is. So sometimes when you miss something, it's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe you're going to end up doing something so much better. So uh, much. Because life is long. At the beginning, it's not all good. हो जाता ना बहुत सारे लोग तो बहुत देर में वो मकसद पाते हैं जो उनका उनका या शुरू में होता है या उनको पता ही बाद में चलता है सो इट्स ऑल राइट एंड यू कैन डू सेवरल थिंग्स इन वन लाइफ टाइम आई थिंक इट्स लॉन्ग इनफ सो साइबा योर टेक या आई थिंक हैविंग अ फेथ पेस लाइफ सर्टेनली हेल्प्स यू एंड देन व्हेनेवर यू आर डूइंग रियली यू आर वर्किंग वेरी हार्ड टू अचीव समथिंग एंड इट्स नॉट हैपनिंग प्रोबेबली यू आल्सो नीड टू रीअलाइन and think and take a step back and and re-strategize but as i, I and i'm very uh, firm believer of that the bigger purpose of life does not really change but your you are evolving and you can all also you know think about it ki aap isko kaise kar sakte lekin ek cheez jo mera message hai which i really want to give uh, i don't know i think shayad ye message jo hai wo har ek ke liye aur wo khud hi se related hai ki everybody has the strength capacity to do whatever he or she has determined for himself or herself in the in the life it's just that you need to believe in yourself and to a bigger power which is there jisne aapko kisi purpose ke sath bheja hai zindagi mein baat purpose ki hai bigger purpose ki hai benji our show stopper or it will be a show stopper but i think for us it really comes back to that conversation i had with edi saab and the last question i asked him was You know, we're working really hard at Amal Academy. We have a team of you know 22 people, and we want to see a change in the education system in Pakistan in society. What can we do to realize that change? Because you have, mashallah, done so much in your life. And he simply said, "Keep working, keep working, keep working," and the results are up to God. Thank you for being us today. Thank you, Benji. Thank you, Saima. And thank you, Zainab. My learning for today is: Hai jazba janoon to himmat nahar. जस्तुजु जो करे वो चुवे आसमा मेहनत अपनी होगी पहचान कभी ना भूलो और सबकी नजरों में पाकिस्तान थैंक यू वेरी मच अल्लाह हाफिज